Okay, today I'm going to uh, show you how to run a nitro engine with a supercharger in three different stages. We'll do stage one, running a supercharger to uh, drive around as normal as a car would drive around to muck around with with a supercharger. Then we'll do stage two, where we'll run a nitro charger, supercharger, with a nitro engine running together. Stage three, we will change over and use the supercharger to do its job of performance. The performance is of a supercharger is to force the engine beyond limits. Uh, as you can see in this red cap, one tenth scale, uh, a Sonic brand. The supercharger is made by R and B Innovators, um, which you'll find their website in the description down below. Um, their website is www.rmbinnovators.com. For more information, if you want to buy one. But today we're going to do a demonstration on display with the Spectrum uh, DX3S model uh, transmitter. Uh, what I mean by display, I will have the display here on the screen here. What I'll be doing is transferring the signal from the transmitter from this aerial here to the car, but I'm also receiving data from the from the trans uh, from the uh, receiver in the car back to the transmitter. There's only one model can do this, can transfer data, and that is the RPM of your engine, your heat or how hot your engine is, your battery power supply on the car or vehicle, it will tell you how much voltage you have, that will be transferred to here on this display here and it will tell you how much information. The receiver that I am using for, to transfer data backwards and forwards is a uh, Ford SR3000 300T. T stands for technology. Technology is to transfer data backwards and forwards. Now this receiver can only transfer data between 150 to 200 feet between the two signals. And that is off the, the aerial to the vehicle. Anything uh, anything beyond that limit you will lose your signal so today I'm only going to do a demonstration of this with this receiver because it's a short range distance so today we're, we're gonna have a look at the, the supercharger okay now that the supercharger is now being installed onto the nitro engine I'm running a CXT uh, 18 it is made by Japan. I believe it's made by Japan modifications to this engine maximum RPM is 33 sorry 32 RP uh, 32,000 RPM That's resolutions How many times it can turn? But today we're going to demonstrate what the supercharger can do the Supercharger is designed to force maximum limits on an engine Today we're going to demonstrate three things. Today we'll drive around as normally and we'll adjust the settings on the carburetor, which is down below, underneath the supercharger. Uh, you will find here, I'll turn the car around. You will find here, this is your high end needle. And I'll turn the car around. Then you'll find underneath here, down here somewhere, that is your low end needle. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do first things first, 
set up the car so you can drive around with the, with the supercharger on it. Yeah, down in your thing. A supercharger is designed to force your engine beyond limits. That means it's designed to last the engine. That is what it's designed for. So today, we'll demonstrate that. Today. What is a low end needle and what is a low end needle? A low end needle means from zero point to B point. That means you're taking off from B point to C point is your high end needle. That will increase your speed to a higher limit. So we'll demonstrate that today. A supercharger, and I'll explain this now, is not designed to drive around every time. So today we'll just turn on the, the transmitter. Uh, wait for the signal to come up. Uh, as you'll see on the right hand side, I'll bring this down closer so you can read what's on here on board. This is data information. Let's come down closer to you. You'll see the model. Uh, the voltage. The voltage there. 4.8 volts. That is the power on board of the transmitter. And as you can see the signal. That is the transmitting. The maximum temperature. temperature that I was having it was 93 Celsius degrees. So you can see the maximum RPM. Let's come down here. Here's the voltage on board the vehicle. Zero. 0.1 to 3.3. Uh, sorry, 5. Uh, it's changing every second. Uh, 5.1 to 5.3 voltage and temperature. Temperature there, what it's reading at 36 points Celsius. Well, that's the temperature now that the engine is just sitting here by itself. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start up the car and we're just going to drive around, muck around with the car. Really, the supercharger is designed to force this engine beyond limit. So, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use your supercharger uh, without driving and damaging the engine. So what we'll do, we'll start up the engine. We'll start up the engine and we'll have this engine running very rich. Low end needle is to be running rich and high end needle is to be running rich. <coughs> Why I'm gonna run this rich? Because I don't want this engine to blow up when I'm just mucking around playing. So what I'll do, I'll start this engine up. It only takes a couple seconds. Make sure that you're uh, transmitter and receiver turned on as you'll see there's a lot of smoke coming out of the car accelerating you'll see a lot of smoke You guys will pray and they say, oh, the car is very slow with the supercharger. Well, this is stage one. It's only, only so you can drive around without damaging the engine. We'll bring the car back in. Thank you. I'll just turn that off for a second to make things easier. Right, that is stage one to have your supercharger on at all times but only using approximately 5% to 15% of your supercharger that is for driving your car so you don't damage your engine your engine is always run rich now let's go to stage 2 stage 2 will run the supercharger and an ISO engine at the same time combined together that means we're going to bring up the supercharger up to almost 50% of what it's designed to do. So we'll roll the car over and now we're going to lean the lower end needle. Lowing, leaning the lower end needle you turn clockwise. 
which mine is in approximately two o'clock position. So we're going to turn over down to say five o'clock. That is when in the engine. Now I'm going to pick up speed from zero to 40 kilometers an hour in a faster time. Now we've got the car in, now we want a faster speed. What we're going to do, we want a higher end needle to be leaner. So you turn that, your car will pick up pace. I will do mine a bit more than the lower end needle. Now this car is going to get a little bit faster. That's what a supercharger is designed to do. It is designed to pick up your engine pace. So we'll start it up, same procedures, exactly the same procedures without the supercharger. Now we'll start the car up and then we'll pick up the pace. Done something wrong here. Do that again. You'll see you have to adjust and adjust until you get the car right. Bring the car in and you'll keep on doing it until you feel comfortable with. But now we're just going to stage three. Now we're going to push maximum performance. Maximum performance we want from A point, we want from A point to B point as fast as possible. So we're going to make some adjustments now and we're going to make the car a lot leaner. And that is on the carburetor settings. Now that you're running your engine a lot leaner, your temperature is going to increase. The temperature is going to get hotter, a lot more hotter. As you'll see, the car just gotten a lot faster then. So we're going to go a lot more leaner and a lot more leaner. We're now going to push beyond those limits. We are now going to read this engine up to 32, up to, up to 32,000 RPM. 
expecting the car to uh, start taking off completely. As you can see the response now that it's taken off. As you just saw then the car took off at 100 miles an hour and it got quicker and quicker. And that is at the moment just for this car and just readjusting the low end needle. And we're going to go a bit more. The car's going to get faster and faster. To get good performance and high performance from a supercharger, what you want to keep on doing is keep on adjusting your engine until there's no smoke coming out. No smoke at all coming out of the engine and you'll have high performance. But keep in mind that your temperature on your engine will get hot. At the moment I'll show you here on the bottom of the screen. Engine temperature is at 67 degrees. Now, when you're running your engine lean, you cannot keep on driving around as normally for five to ten minutes. The engine will blow up. Unfortunately, because the supercharger is designed to force the engine beyond the limits. Let's think for a full scale a supercharger on a top fuel dragster. How many times have they go down the drag strip competing against someone else? How often is that engine will last? Next to nothing. Because it's designed to run with the supercharger at full throttle. And made to be point as quickly as possible. You can't just keep on driving and driving and driving. You gotta rebuild the engine. But today it's only a demonstration. Go. we've just picked up a lot of pace there and then you keep on doing that until you reach the stage three and that is pretty full on very full on high revs if you don't want to blow up your engine come back to your receiver and your transmitter and readjust and I'll show you here on this model you go into your settings Go down here and you look for your ex for your travelling, for your forward and backwards throttle. You readjust it so you don't go full throttle on your carburetor. If you go full throttle and you're revving your engine beyond maximum limits, you will blow up the engine. If you want to save your engine, that's what you do. But today I'm gonna to leave it very closely to there. Uh, unfortunately I cannot give you the display of the RPM here on the transmitter because before I was doing the test run before and unfortunately the uh, exhaust pipe was getting very hot which was on the back That's where I had the wires coming out the uh, receiver box around here underneath the exhaust pipe and doing the reading on the back of the uh, flywheel, uh, which my wires got too hot and melted together. Unfortunately, that doesn't matter because I'm going to put the receiver box out and go back to my sports receiver.
so I have a long range. Uh, a lot of people say supercharger is going to blow up the engine, but it, mainly it is designed to blow up the engine. Uh, if you can't get your engine to work, I'll tell you why. Here, where you got your supercharger. Here, this is the main pulley here, and the supercharger, that thread is now pressurizing the air all the way down to your, your carburetor. If your carburetor is not being pressurized properly on your carburetor settings, it may push your fuel line back into the tank so your engine will run lean all the time. So make sure that you put on your extra line on the RC cars to build up the extra pressure line inside your tank. So it's balancing itself out properly. Uh, I've never had a problem with an engine blowing. Only when I bought a brand new engine in the past and that was for a boat engine. Unfortunately I broke the con rod. Uh, within three seconds went to start the engine. Today I'm giving you a demonstration of how to tune the nitro engine on the carburetor setting. Can you run your engine lean as possible and as for long as possible driving around? The answer is no, you can't because you'll blow your engine. That always makes your engine run rich. Can I do a good fast run and keep up with a top fuel dragster with this vehicle? Yes, I can do that. Uh, but only in scale of turns. As you'll see here in the demonstration, on the screen here, my temperature is now 41 degrees. That's the engine. That's what it is now. Come up to here, and that was my maximum temperature. That's uh, what is it? 80, 90, 93 degrees. That was my maximum temperature that I've got to today. In the past years, with this engine in Celsius degrees. And this engine has never been rebuilt since I've done it. I've allowed my son to play with my car. And he has taken my engine so high. It has taken it up to 225 Celsius degrees. Celsius. That's how hot this engine will get. Uh, for me to convert that over to Fahrenheit, I think that is 450 in Fahrenheit degrees. That's how hot that engine will get. Um, have I had any problems with, with this supercharger and the engine itself running together? No, never had a problem blowing that up. The way that you tune your carburetor is the way that your engine is going to run. To run it rich, you, you won't have full maximum revs. To run it lean, you'll have maximum revs. To go beyond maximum revs, engine is going to start wearing and tearing uh, as to the as to what I was saying to RPM that RPM will give you the reading can I readjust my throttle and bring it down yes I can do that with this throttle and receiver today supercharger in Foreman to the performance what it's been doing and to what it's designed to do. Force this engine to the limits. I'll just quickly demonstrate that to you uh, and not have a problem. Uh, for the people who make comments about a, a nitro supercharger, that the air flows straight through and comes straight out and doesn't work, well I'm demonstrating that to you today. If the air flows straight through the charger, through the engine, well, you'll never get the engine to start. And that is with the supercharger, because that's above the engine itself. Um, for people who have made comments before in the past, on YouTube, uh, for 
an example, what is the name of a what is the name of an intake? Well, what what do you mean by that for me to respond to? What? Are you talking about an air filter? Are you talking about the supercharger? Are you talking about the compression? Are you talking about the carburetor, manifold, etc.? Well, the air doesn't just flow just straight through because you can't. Not with the two-stroke engine because it's designed in the crankshaft. When the crankshaft is at a certain point, the air will travel into the crankshaft and then come up around inside the piston and then enter the cylinder. Once that has entered the cylinder, the piston has reached to the, to the uh, dead end point for the ignition of the explosion for the flame to push the piston down then your flame will exit and come through to the uh, muffler. Now the muffler is designed for back pressure. What back pressure is, it pushes pressure back into the engine so nothing else can be, be released. Um, so yes, if you want to run a supercharger, always make sure that you take your extra line for your pressure. For your, for your thing, pressure wise, with your line. Two stroke is a completely different thing to a four stroke engine or to a valve engine. Um, these engines are, are really good, especially the Japanese engines. They are run perfectly. In the past, I've seen this engine run up to 33,000 RPM and still idling perfect. Sorry guys, a lot of people say that the supercharger is useless. Sorry guys, I, but I disagree. It's how that you run your engine and your carburetor. Um, thanks for watching and I'll leave you to it.